Welcome to Warhammer Demons, the regularly occurring show where we take a look at the units available to the demon player in a Warhammer Fantasy Battle game. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at the Herald of Nurgle. It's a hero choice, comes in at 115 points, has a movement of only 4, weapon skill 5, strength 5, toughness 5, 2 wounds, initiative of 2, 3 attacks, and a leadership of 8. Now those attacks are poisoned attacks, it's to represent the plague sword that the model is armed with. And this guy also has the Locus ability that will bestow Regenerate upon any unit of Plague Bearers he's put with. Now, out of all the Heralds, I think this is my favorite ability, giving him all the, the Regenerate, which is essentially an additional 4 plus Ward save. It can be taken in addition to a Ward, if any of the uh, models would have that, which uh, your Rank and File guys aren't. I think that as far as a Battle Standard Bearer goes, that this is the best choice. Uh, the reason for that being it's Toughness 5, two wounds with regenerate. It's going to last longer than the uh, other heralds would. S other options, making it a level one wizard of Nurgle for 50 points. And the option I like is the Plank one for 50 points. And this is the Epidemius model here. As you can see, I've made some progress on it. Uh, not quite done yet, but working on it. Uh, 50 points turns it into cavalry. Give it a six plus armor save. Woo. Uh, the big deal is six poisoned attacks for what all these Nurglings in the base are, are going to do. Those attacks are only weapon skill 3, initiative 3, strength 3, but uh, as I said, they're poisoned. Uh, like the other Heralds, you can spend 50 points on gifts. Taking a look at those, the big one is the Staff of Nurgle for 50 points. It's a bound spell, only power level 3, cast Rancid Visitation. That's a magic missile, does d6 strength 5 hits after those have been resolved. You got to take a toughness test. Uh, the unit has to. If it's failed, D6 strength five hits again. You keep doing that until they pass a toughness test. So, what I think that's going to do for you is pretty much just your opponent's going to have to try and dispel it. So it's it's a good thing if you've got some other magic uh, backing it up that you want to try and get through, suck away some of their dispel dice. My favorite one is Noxious Vapors, 25 points. Enemy and base to base lose always strike first, and as a result, they always strike last. What I like is putting this guy on the plank one in with the unit of Plague Bearers. Since he's got a wider frontage, there's going to be that many more units in base-to-base -base contact with him. They're going to lose always strike first and have to always strike last. And then he's going to get all those, his own three attacks plus the six attacks back. Nurgle's Rot, 25 points. Enemy models in base-to-base -base at the start of any magic phase are going to wound on a roll of a six with no armor save. Again, a plank one's a good guy to give that to. More frontage there. 25 points, Pestilent Mucus. When wounded, all enemy and base to base contact must pass a toughness test or they suffer a wound with no armor save. For 25 points, you can give them a stream of bile. It's a strength for breath weapon. Uh, I'm not a big of a fan on a foot slogger with that. I mean, he's got a movement of four. Yeah, okay, so you can march up eight and still shoot your breath weapon. But if you're doing that, you're getting charged on your next turn. Uh, so just just be aware of that. I like that on the flying guys. 25 points is Soul Hunger. Reroll your failed wounds the first round of combat. Now, 25 points, if you got him, this guy in a unit of Plague Bearers, you can get the standard of Seeping Decay, which is going to let you reroll your failed wounds. Notice I didn't say just during the first round of combat. So it's the same points value. It's going to apply to the whole unit, and it's going to last for the whole combat. So I don't really see why you would ever want to go with Soul Hunger. 10 points, Slime Trail. No combat resolution bonus if you've gotten charged in the flank or the rear, and that's going to apply to the, the unit that this guy joins as well. But I want to note that it's just the no combat resolution bonus. You're still going to lose your ranks if you're charged in the flank or the rear, provided that the unit doing you uh, is a sufficient size to, to do that. So that's the Herald of Nurg Nurgle. I, I like the Noxious Vapors, the Palanquin, and the Slime Trail on, on my model. Depending on what I got going on in the rest of the army, I might spend the 50 points to make it the Wizard. And it's also a really good Battle Standard Bearer. And this Epidemius model, I think, accurately represents a, a nice Battle Standard Bearer, Herald of Nurgle. And that's what I'm going to be using it for once I finally get it done. So. Take care. Next time we'll be talking about the only remaining Herald, the Herald of Slanesh.